Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Hi, Leos. So I've done the order of um, how I do the reading, a little bit different for every sign, but for you I'm going to start with the overall theme, okay? So this is called balance in this deck. It's typically the strength card, so this is definitely your card in traditional decks. Now, why is this one important? Well, there's many things going on here, okay? So it's talking about the balance not only between masculine and feminine energies, as you have with the yin yang here, and then the fact that this person is um, a drag queen, right? They have both masculine features and feminine features. Very feminine face, but a masculine body, but wearing, you know, feminine clothing. So this is about finding the balance between your masculine energies and your feminine energies. And then the balance also in your mind between like what is um, reality, what is fantasy. It's also this balance between your spiritual life and your life here on earth, okay? Now, you see in these little balls here that this person has, these like crystal balls, one of them has a feather. This one's got a feather in it. Okay, and the feather is about your spirituality, your afterlife. Like we know like angels leave feathers around for us sometimes. And then over here you have like a like a stone, like a crystal, like your very earth energy. So finding the balance between, you know, maybe the material world and your spiritual world. And when you're able to do this, it creates a never-ending circle or a cycle, okay? And within this is the truth. Like the truth to the right way to live your life is finding this balance. Good ideas come from a balanced place. If you're too far to one extreme or the other, your ideas are not that good, right? It's going to be hard to find success in whatever it is you're trying to achieve. But then also with this kind of ace of swords energy about communication, you want to communicate things in a balanced way. So you know, maybe this is about saying something in a very firm way. You want to you want to be firm, but deliver it, you know, in a soft and loving feminine way. So asserting your boundaries politely, <laughs> for example, would be a way that this card could be represented here. It's saying that with the clouds underneath the sword, that the confusion goes away, that it goes beneath you when you're able to find this balance between your spiritual life and the real world, okay? So that's where we're starting. Now, um, with our, our, our goal for the month is to learn patience, and this is talking about all of the chakras. You see all the colors here in this card? So it's saying 
This is by throat chakra. This is by like releasing our fears with our sacral chakra. This is finding our own personal empowerment with our solar plexus. This is our heart chakra saying like, I am open here. Okay. Now we have to be patient. It's saying you're able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. And so when you find this balance, you're more able to be patient to wait for the universe to kind of bring you gifts. Um, or to take things out of your life, take away stressors, okay? But there is this need to be patient and kind of just go with the flow this month, and that's much easier to do when you're coming from a balanced state of mind. Your affirmation is kind of an interesting one. It's talking about loneliness, okay? So it's saying, I know that I am never alone. Well, you might be feeling alone because you haven't achieved this balance because maybe your spiritual life has been kind of like pushed to the side and you're more focused on work and things like that. Maybe your relationships at home have suffered because you've been such a workaholic. Uh, whatever that is, you have to understand that the universe, God, Allah, angels, whatever, are here to support you and to love you, and that you're really, really not alone, even though you feel like you are sometimes. Maybe you need to wait a little bit of time, too, for somebody to reach out. This is like, you know, in regards to friendships, this is a very busy and stressful and sometimes sad time for other people, and so you might be feeling kind of alone, and it's not that your friends or your family members, they don't love you or they don't care about you, but they got their own shit, right? My sister, for example, is already working on um, her taxes, you know, because it's the first of the month. And so she's just really, really busy. But this doesn't mean she doesn't care about me. She doesn't love me. She doesn't want to reach out. She doesn't think about me. But I might be feeling lonely as a result. Does that make sense? So understand, and it, which is easier to do when you are patient and balanced, um, that you're really, really not alone. The other people care about you, but they're, that they're looking at you. Um, and it's just, you know, they're wrapped up in their own lives, but it doesn't mean that your life doesn't matter to them, okay? Now, why am I bringing this up uh, specifically right now after I was talking about balance? Because they seem like two different things. The reason why is because your color energy are two of them. Blue, as you see here. See, like kind of like the stars in the sky here and how um, there's like all of this light in the cosmos. But you're over here as well, you know, kind of shining your light into the cosmos. You're standing on Earth with that balance, okay? You're standing on the Earth energy, but you're shining your light out into the universe. You're seeking that spiritual connection. And um, this one is saying, hey, I'm looking to spirit so that I can better shine my light, okay, with the blue. And this is maybe you want to verbalize what it is that you're asking for uh, with all of this blue throat chakra energy. It's saying activating your healing power. I am asking for healing. I am asking for a reminder that I'm never alone, okay? And the reason why you're doing this is because of this black energy. Now, black is not necessarily a color. It's basically the absence of light, right? But you can use a black color, Ray, um, to kind of remind you that there is richness in the dark night, okay? So we kind of think about the color black as like a negative thing. But out of negative things that happen to us come like these positive insights, these lessons that we learn. We create change. We figure out, oh, fuck, I need to be more balanced. Something's not right if I'm feeling dark. And, you know, like these bad things happen so that we can appreciate the good things, but then also so that we can learn from them and make changes. And so you are supported in any changes that you're making this month. Your um, chakra to work on specifically more than any of the others is the solar plexus and this is about your personal empowerment this is about your confidence this is about your self-worth and so this all kind of ties together you might be kind of down on yourself this month but if you ask spirit the universe god whatever for assistance with that you can come back into that confidence and be that leo that you usually are and it's interesting right because i said in other decks this is usually the leo card this is usually the strength card but right now it's no, there is no such thing as coincidence or accidents. It's no accident that this deck, it, you know, was used in your reading and that this time the eight for Leo is balance. You're not balanced. You've got to figure out the difference between your masculine and feminine energies. You've got to kind of come back into your Leo-ness 
into that, you know, fiery lion energy. So this month, what you want to be working on um, as far as a spiritual hobby goes, some people have meditation, some have exercise. For you, it's chakras. And most specifically, you want to balance out those chakras because we mentioned all of these chakras need healing, right? With our blue healing light. Um, but most specifically, the solar plexus is a little bit jacked up. That bright yellow um, has kind of turned like a muddy mustard. And that's not normal for a Leo. Leos are this like bright yellow, shiny energy that people want to be around. Like the sun, right? You are the sun. You are the sign of the sun. You just like illuminate and bring light to everything. And right now, you're kind of in this dark spot. So this is what you want to work on. In regards to color energies, how do you use them? Some people wear them. Um, some people use these as like light rays as they're meditating. I actually use this blue one a lot. Like when I'm going to bed, I'll kind of lay there and I'll do a body scan and I'll say, ooh, my right shoulder hurts. And I'll just throw a little blue light energy on there. Like I just imagine it coming down from the heavens and kind of soothe that so that I wake up feeling better. Um, that's a way to use your blue healing light energy. So um, one thing that I mentioned was that I used astrology dice in your reading as well as like pendulums and all these decks of cards. So I'm not saying that this is astrologically what your chart says for this month because I don't do astrology. But what I'm doing is I'm picking up on these kind of astrological themes that you should be experiencing in the month of January. So the interesting thing is we were talking about the sun, that solar plexus, right? You have the sun as one of the aspects in a fifth house kind of a way. So the sun is about who you are. And what it's saying is who you are, fifth house, is someone creative, someone fun, someone romantic, someone childlike, someone um, who's got like hobbies, who like really, really finds pleasure and joy in things. And so they're like, hmm. That will come, but only should you embrace this need for balance and healing. There's all this blue everywhere. All you have to do is ask, right? You just have to say a little prayer, think a little thought, like a little affirmation. I know I'm not alone. I know that, you know, my spirit guides are here to help me <laughs> or God or whatever. And poof! You can snap out of whatever darkness you were feeling. Um, the other thing is Mercury, which is communication. Surprise! Just kidding, there are no surprises. Um, in the 10th house. So this is like about your goals. This is about the way that other people perceive you, like your image. It's about your life purpose. It's even about the relationship you have with your mom, and that might be this dark place shit that you need to heal for some of you or maybe one of you. But anyway, um, we need to communicate this month about what it is that drives us, okay? Actually today, which is the 2nd of January, I made a pa uh, post on the Facebook page kind of about this, where it's like, okay, there's three things that you need to be happy. One is um, to have something to do, a hobby, right? Um, one is to have something to love or someone to love. Um, and then the other one is to have something to look forward to. But the thing is, is like if you're not communicating these things, it's easy to lose sight of those. It's easy to lose track of them. And if we don't have all of these things, maybe the right thing to do is to communicate that we're looking for some of these things. So anyway, point about the Facebook post is that within it, in the comments, everyone is posting their three things so that if you're struggling to find one of those three things or three of those three things, that there's maybe some inspiration to remind you what it is that you have to look forward to or to be grateful for or that you love that maybe you didn't think about that you lost sight of because you're not balanced. So um, then we also have communication in the house of communication, the third house. So it's very important that you're talking to people this month. And that's also going to help you to snap out of this loneliness feeling. Now, this patience aspect is needed. Maybe you send text messages out like, hey, you know, to like a bunch of people who wants to hang out today and everybody like ignores you and nobody gets back to you. But be patient because it doesn't mean that they don't care about you. It doesn't mean they don't want to hang out with you. It doesn't mean something bad about you. You didn't piss somebody off. People are just busy right now. That's it. A lot of people are stressed at the beginning of the year. So be patient. Go with the flow. 
but make sure that you're communicating. You can't just sit there and feel sorry for yourself. So your lucky day this month is the 11th, and then, excuse me, your unluckiest day this month is the 4th. So isn't that kind of cute that your lucky day is 111? Make sure that you communicate like a wish or something because that would be lucky for you. So the crystal that you have for this month is green calcite. Green calcite is all about opening up that heart chakra, okay? Green calcite is going to connect you to spirit. It's going to help you to be more positive. It'll help to attract abundance. It is also a protective stone. So this helps you to get rid of your attachment um, and your anger, which is going to be important, right? If we're feeling kind of dark and we need to heal, this is a very healing stone. It'll help you to heal up that heart chakra. It also helps you to manifest things quickly, you know, which maybe makes it less necessary for us to remember that we need to be patient. Um, it clears away old patterns and it just kind of balances out all of your chakras and it clears out your mind. So there are many benefits to this. You can look up um, on my website more about it. You can purchase one there from your local rock store, but that is the stone that you'll want to use if you're into crystals. So love and light and I'll see you in February. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!